The future of ride sharing in Minneapolis up in the air tonight after a vote by the city council. They're overriding the mayor's veto of an ordinance setting minimum pay requirements for ride share drivers. And Uber and Lyft are threatening to leave the city May 1st. A change Mayor Jacob Fry says will have a wide reaching impact. This is not just about Minneapolis. I think there are repercussions to the entire region. Richard Reeve explains what it means for riders and their drivers. Wheels of change set in motion by a city council vote. This is a huge victory. Getting a fair pay and a safe work. That's what we've been asking for. That's what is going on in the whole country. It's not only Minnesota. But what happens next? Uber and Lyft have been clear. They're going to pull out their operation. Uber saying when the ordinance takes effect May 1st, it will stop operating in the entire metro, including the airport. Lyft says it will pull out the same day in Minneapolis. It's going to have a huge impact. At a time like this, we need to be thinking about more ways to get people downtown and around the city, not less. Some in the business community wondering how people will get around big summer events right around the corner. For restaurant manager Jay's Santiago, right, uh, right. that includes his employees. Our employees are supposed to, you know, get home on late evenings and, uh, and such. On the flip side, taxi driver Jose Ilzisaka is hoping for relief. Uber and Lyft killed that business taxi. He says rideshare competition is forcing him to work seven days a week. I'm working for like 12, 14 hours a day. Don't make any money because Uber take all my fares, you know. They're taking their ads. But at this MSP Uber lot, drivers say they have no intention of going anywhere. Revolution. That they're already getting offers from other rideshare services willing to come to Minneapolis. No love lost here with Uber or Lyft. We're not, we're not gonna miss them really, but they're gonna miss us because they only run the app. We do the daily work. We work hard, we own the car, we pay gas, we pay, we put them a lot of miles for the car. And ride sharing has had a huge impact on the taxi business. City records show that there are only 39 licensed cab drivers in the city. Right now, that compares to more than 1,900 just 10 years ago. Now, the rideshare industry wants state lawmakers to get involved to perhaps consider some kind of standard pay rate statewide. There's a Senate committee already talking about that. Reporting live, Richard Reeve, 5 Eyewitness News.